Hi, and thank you for joining me for another edition of Rabbi Stein's PPE. This week's Parsha, Parsha's Vayakel, also happens to be Parsha's Shkalim uh, this year, in our leap year. And I want to kind of just dive into a little bit about um, a very interesting Pasuk that we find in this week's Parsha. Parsha says like this, the Pasuk says like this, Lo tiv'aru eish b'chol mosh v'oseichem b'yom ha-shabbos. An eish, a fire, a kindling, an ignition or spark should not go out from your dwelling on this Shabbos day, on Shabbos itself. So we understand this to mean there's a prohibition. You cannot kindle a flame. You cannot make new fire. You cannot manipulate fire on Shabbos. That's why fire is what's called muksa. However, there's another interpretation I'd like to bring to our attention through Rav Shimshin Pinkus Zetzal. Rav Shimshin Pinkus writes the following. Lo tzivaru eish b'Shabbos. Eish can be understood by another interpretation. And that is, what is an emotion that consumes us much like a fire? That is anger. That is kas. And we can get angry. We can get angry over the smallest of things. And sometimes that anger takes us to a world, to a place that we don't want to go. We may say things that we regret. We may make haste actions or do things that are, repre- uh, that are repre- reprehensible that we might also regret. And it can definitely cause a lot of issues after the fact. What the Torah is teaching us here, Lo tivaru eish. One should strive not to get angry on Shabbos. I know, sounds like a hard task, right? We have families, we have friends, we have relationships, all kinds of things going on all at the same time. But if you think about it, what does actually does it mean to get angry when you lose control of yourself? When you're no longer the pilot of your own ship. And if you're not in control... And there's something else driving or motivating or, or, or causing you to act, making therefore you reacting, you're no longer in control. And if we're no longer in control, that's the most dangerous thing that could happen to a human person. When they lose grip of their own actions. So what the Torah is teaching us here is the following. Don't lose control. Don't let go of the reins. Ensure you're always in control. Ensure that you can be Shomer and Zachor. It's Yom HaShabbos and Show. We want to ensure that Shabbos remains holy. That our actions remain holy. And our Chazal also teaches that if one God forbid ever has to get angry, because there are reasons we have to get angry, let that anger just be an expression on the face, but not actually felt inside. Someone can act as if they're angry without actually being angry. Someone can act like they're angry because of a sincere love for somebody else and they care so much about them. But don't actually be angry. Let it be expressed as anger, but yet love within. And that's the message here. There's so much going on in the world. Let's not be angry with each other. Let's not be mad at each other. Let's not lose our grips or lose control of the things that matter most. Shabbat Shalom.